Xbox Game Showcase Week is here. And it's safe to say that Sunday's event could give Team Xbox some much needed positive press. Find out what some higher ups at Xbox just confirmed. Up next. What up guys, this is KLO and I'm here to give you the lowdown in all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video and welcome to the level up. Also, before we get into today's news, we are at 277 subscribers. Can we get to 300? That would be amazing. So thank you to anybody who is liking, sharing these videos, commenting, doing all that fun stuff. I really appreciate it. Okay, we recently got some official confirmation amongst all the rumors that are flying around the Xbox game showcase this Sunday. And I gotta say, this is already some great news. So Aaron Greenberg, who is Xbox's game marketing VP, just confirmed in this here tweet that first party titles for Xbox will feature in-game or in-engine footage and no trailer will be purely CG. And this was a smart move by Xbox, simply just to get out in front of the storm that was originally caused by the PlayStation Showcase just a few weeks back. The original gripe there was while there was a healthy amount of games shown at the Showcase, a majority of them did not feature gameplay. Aaron Greenberg replied to a fan on Twitter stating, quote, there will be no movie or TV show trailers at this Showcase. So that rules out a potential Fallout show reveal, but I feel like by the end of this summer, we should get an idea of what this show is going to look like. And I think the fact that we are mostly getting in-engine footage for most of the first party titles, whatever those may be, is huge. And if it's in-game footage on the PC or the Series X, that is yet to be determined, but my money is going to be on the PC. It's also worth noting that Xbox isn't committing to that whole these games will release in the next 12 months slogan that they heavily leaned on during their last showcase, but they're just covering all their bases. And let's move on to some alleged hardware that could appear at this showcase. And it seems to be pairing a special edition Xbox controller with a potential wireless headset themed around Starfield. And images of this controller did service a while back, but the validity to all that was kind of hazy, and at this point, it still kind of is. So at first, this all could have been a fan-made controller. The headset and controller were codenamed Ogden and Orin, and would have had a price tag of $79.99 for the controller, and $124.99 for the headset. Now we fast forward to June 3rd, and Twitter user IdleSloth84 shared an image of the same controller and the box art for it. The thing that sticks out to me is that whole Peggy18 logo in the bottom of the box there. I just don't know why that would need to be featured on a box for the controller, but I guess since the game is rated Peggy18, Maybe that's why. But if this controller is in fact real, I, I really don't normally buy accessories like this, but I might be in for this one. But the reason why I bring this all up is because I feel like Xbox is missing prime opportunities to market their games through accessories and even consoles. Look back to the 360 era of consoles that really brought out the heat when talking about designs for the 360. And in the PS4 era, Sony really cranked out some bangers when it came to consoles like the PS4 Pro Spider-Man Edition. But in the current Xbox series generation, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I can only really recall the Halo Infinite edition of the Series X as one of their special Xboxes. Of course, a while back there were rumors of a Diablo 4 console, but that all fell through. And I would have thought Starfield would have been an excellent game to base a console around, and if this controller is anything to go off of design-wise, that console would have been pretty damn cool. But with all that being said, I'm going to pass this question off to you guys. With the news now coming forward that all the first party Xbox games are getting in-game footage or at least in-engine, could this be what the doctor ordered? Personally, I think this is a huge win for Xbox and that's pretty rare to say because at the start of the year, I said they need to start showing off their games and that means showing gameplay. But that about does it here. I've been Kalo. I gave you the lowdown in all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video, and this has been The Level Up.